Hello class, my name is Juan Castillo and today I'm going to be giving a short abstract overview on my research topic. My topic is do sugar sweetened beverages contribute to childhood obesity in Hispanic households? Starting off with the objective, the objective of my research was to identify if the consumption of sugar sweetened beverages contributes to the increased risk of childhood obesity in Hispanic children. The belief is that most of the blame should be put on the parents and their feeding habits towards the children due to them being misinformed and misguided and not just having the proper nutritional knowledge on sugar sweetened beverages. There also have been no prior systematic reviews surrounding this topic, so mine would be the first. In terms of the methods, I independently reviewed each article and used keyword searches when I was searching for articles. Some of these keywords were sweetened beverages, sugar sweetened beverages, childhood obesity, obesity, Hispanic households, dietary intake, and sugar intake. I used the databases PubMed, Agricola, CINAHL, and Google Scholar when I was conducting my research. I ensured to include studies that were fully, pro fully published cross-sectional, case control, cohort studies, and literature reviews. The studies also had to contain Hispanic children ages from 2 to 15, and the studies had to be from 2011 to 2020, so roughly within the last 10 years. The studies that I excluded were if they did not investigate Hispanic children's sugar sweetened beverage intake, or if the studies regarding anything other than Hispanic children's sugar sweetened beverage consumption or risk of obesity was looked at. When viewing the relevancy of the articles, the articles had to contain relevant article titles and abstracts, Hispanic children's sugar sweetened beverage consumption and statistics of these sugar sweetened beverage consumptions, descriptions of a participant's sugar sweetened beverage consumption evaluation, and description of a participant's socioeconomic background. When viewing the results, I started off with 1,332 total articles. After an elimination process, I eliminated 1,250 articles, leaving 82 articles to be reviewed. Once I looked through those 82 articles and did my final eliminations, I eliminated 63 articles leaving 19 that fit the criteria the best. 14 of those articles were cross-sectional studies that examined Hispanic children. There were three cohort studies, one case control study, and one of the articles was a literature review. In total, I viewed, well, read about 17,005 children. 14,817 of those children were Hispanic. 2,188 of those children were not Hispanic, and all the studies viewed their sugar sweetened beverage consumption and viewed their socioeconomic background as well, as well as gave important information on the parents' feeding habits and their tips as well. When viewing the results, 17 of the studies found an association between high sugar sweetened beverage consumptions of soda, flavored milk, fruit juice, and other sugar sweetened beverages and an increased risk of obesity in Hispanic children. Only two of these studies differed from this. Also, 14 of the studies found that homemade drinks also increased the risk of Hispanic children's risk of obesity. In terms of the socioeconomic area, 15 of the studies found an association between the socioeconomic living area of Hispanic children and their increased consumption of sugar sweetened beverages. That is because these sugar sweetened beverages were at a lower cost in these areas and had an easier access to these parents and they would just give them to their kids. In terms of parental feeding habits, it was found that seven studies showed an association between parental feeding habits and an increased risk of sugar sweetened beverage consumption due to the fact that some of the parents knew the negative effects of this high sugar intake and they still gave it to their children just so they would avoid uh, arguments and tantrums and basically just a way to get their, their children off of their back for that period of time. Uh, but three of these three studies found that there was no association between this, but it is important to note that those studies uh, would not give a final conclusion on this simply because they did not have enough information to mark this down as a conclusion in their studies. When looking through all the qualitative and quantitative data, 
there is not enough evidence to strictly pinpoint sugar sweetened beverages as the main reason why Hispanic children are obese or becoming obese, but their socioeconomic living, high sugar sweetened beverage intake, and Hispanic parents being misinformed and having questionable feeding habits regarding sugar sweetened beverages contributes to Hispanic children uh, having an increased risk of obesity. I do firmly believe that more research needs to be done on this topic to see what other factors are contributing to Hispanic children having such a high and increased risk of becoming obese over time throughout their childhood.